G'day there, guys. Naughty here in uh, self-isolation. It's a bit of a shitty old day outside as well. There's Naughty Shed. And uh, just spending the afternoon out here. How are you, dog? Angus, the dog. Um, spending the afternoon out here uh, making some jig heads. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a bit of a look and what goes on. Got to make a few jig heads for Ashley over in Tasmania. I've made a few extras so I could send him some. He uh, showed me around a bit over there. So did Danny. Danny showed me around a bit over there as well. They were, the Tasmanians were pretty fantastic people, to be honest. Very hospitable. So anyway, this is uh, this is what the mould looks like. Oh, the moulds sitting there. This is a uh, an old uh, lead pot. I've just put a steel plate on it. I've got it on a very low temperature, warming up the mould. That mould's already loaded, ready to go. There's the uh, the lead pot. Uh, I like to run on about 730 degrees. It's a bit fancy, this is the American one. I didn't start off with one like that, but because I've been making a lot of jig heads for myself, as you can see, there's my one of my jig head box. I've been making some today, there's some for Ashley. Um, yeah, I've started to make my own, so I've upped the uh, ante on the on the uh, on the gear. Uh, there's a local guy that uh, Hurricane supports, which is, uh, his name's Ryan, from, uh, he makes Jagham jig heads. They're available on my website, Hurricane website, he makes them the same way. So I'll show you what they're handmade. So we'll load the mould, I'll try and do it without getting my fingers in the way too much. This is a uh, 1 16th and a 3 32 mold which is basically a, about a 1 11th 1 12th um, in Gippsland I would use this these two sizes a lot in Tassie because I was using the Sprat 75 I was using uh, mainly I was using the um, 124th oh, sorry guys I'm trying to talk as well 124th and the um, 132 most flicking the uh, Sprat 75 over the weed beds shallow water like we're fishing you know one foot of water two foot of water a lot and the uh, Sprat 75 Absolutely killed it over in Tasmania. But anyway, the boys in New South Wales will understand what I'm talking about. They use uh, those flick baits over the top of the the weed beds a lot in um, New South Wales. And uh, with some great results, Troy Parsons and Ryan Jamison from up that way. I think they won a grand final. They won a grand final this year and... Um, Fishing, fishing exactly the same way, using uh, using the sprats over over the weed. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is so I'm just loading up now. I'm loading. These are BKK hooks I use. I find they're the best hook. I import them myself. Um, oh, bugger. I'm not really concentrating because I'm uh, talking. This is I'll, I'll stop talking so I can fast forward this bit. Okay, the mould's loaded. I'm just making sure they're all going to line up so it shuts properly. Um, Yep, shut. So you make sure that it's it's all shut. All there's no gap there. Just adjust the camera a bit. We'll go over here and uh, 
four of these. Furnace is uh, it's gone up a little bit. I just gave it a little bit more temperature. Uh, it's pouring better. There we go. Poured. I just take them out now. I grab uh, just a pair of snippers. These are the one sixteenths. Sit them over here on the warming plate. Keep them warm because there's another process that we like to do. And uh, just to make sure that the lure is spot on. What we like to do, and uh, Jag and Jig Heads are done the same way, a wire keeper. Is glued to the shaft of the hook. I think uh, Starlo and Bushy, they had it right. Uh, if you look at the old squidgy jig heads, they all had a wire keeper. And uh, I just love it. You know glue when you're out on the boat changing jig heads or whatever just whack it on the action of the lures at its optimum because uh, all the weights at the um, top of the lure especially when you're using grubs and and paddle tail minnows I don't like the uh, any weight up the shaft of the hook to hold the because when it rests on the bottom, it doesn't stick quite as upright as it as it should with uh, with the other stuff. We're done. Yep. So there you go. We'll snip them off now. So what happens now is I'll put that back on the warmer just so that it's, uh, it's ready for next time. And then we've got some snippers here. And we just, make sure I get down. Snip them off, that's it. Jig heads are done. Reload the tackle box and uh, keeping the the lure warm on the little plate makes the super glue dry quite quick. You can just use any cheap super glue. I like the um, the cheap runny stuff because it runs down the the shaft and in between the, the gaps. So these are, if you don't want to make them yourself, contact Ryan and Jag and Jig Heads. Or look on the Hurricane site. We sell Ryan's Jig Heads on there. They are perfectly suited to all the Hurricane Soft plastics, Ryan does a better job than me. He files these all up and he's a bit of a guru at it. But these are for my own personal use. So um, I'm happy with that. Load the, the 16th back into 
16th spot. You see, I, I'll do this for the afternoon and um, I'll load up again so I don't have to worry about it for a little while. And there's some uh, jig heads for Ashley over in Tasmania. And uh, yeah, cheers, guys. I hope that's sort of uh, a little bit of an informative for you. I'm not sure, but anyway, just a bit of a general interest piece. Cheers.